Girl, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave you God told me I'm someone Hey everybody, it's your girl Lisi and I'm back again with a, wait, hold on. And I am back again with another vloggy vlog. Okay, um, you know, these braids is old, so if y'all recognize them, not too much, be. But right now, I'm about to go to the Universal Circuit. Don't be in the comments talking about why are you going to the circus, you not a little ass kid. First of all, this circus, if y'all never heard of it, y'all should have. It's a black circus, so it's for kids and adults. And I've been going to this circus, y'all, since I was a little kid. I'm going with my mother right now. She wanted to get a little photo op real quick. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to the circus right now. I don't know what's gonna happen in this vlog, but whatever happens in my life, whatever I happen to get into, that's what was, was just gonna be in the vlog. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all when we at the circus. We gonna see if they changed up the routine, if they doing anything new, cause this circus been running for, how long the circus been running for? You about 25, so 25 plus years. Yeah, so, but they usually is always entertaining. So let's see y'all, I'm definitely, getting me some funnel cake. Okay, so I'm gonna see y'all in a sec. Limited space. Shoulders or car seats will not be permitted. You did. Keep in mind, cell phone. <laughs> it even look different up in here too. You look better. At least they using our money to <laughs> And a water. Add nachos. Oh wait, let's turn this way. The light is better. Right, I'm like, that look crazy. Before you grab it. Okay, y'all, we stay close to the front or whatever. Like, y'all see the view? go to the circus, an amusement park, or a carnival. This is what I'd be excited for. Let's see how it tastes in the day. Let's see. They got no forks, so you know, I'm just gonna have to uh, use my hands. Like damn, she in her move. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she in her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't packing out nobody's pants. Be a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. Okay, y'all, we is back in the car. Bye, circus! Bye, circus! Um, the circus is over. Um, how did you think the circus was? Right. They used to have, like, little lions, tigers, and bears and stuff, but I guess, you know... They not doing the animals no more. Animal I don't know. protection services them came and took over. 
guess because you know that is kind of like some animal cruelty type mess having the animals in the circus and not in their normal environment but back in the day y'all they used to have creatures up in the spot so i don't know why do we have windows cracked like what is going on <laughs> like anywho so i'm about to go home y'all and lay down in my bed i have work in the morning it's like nine o'clock i think um i'm gonna check back in with y'all when i have something else to do again so see ya later several days later hey everybody um i look a mess right now like my nails i'm in the process of trying to take them off i currently look like i just ran some errands but um i don't know the last time i oh no i do know the last time i spoke to y'all the last time i spoke to y'all let me turn the heater off actually okay um i just had to get my tripod because holding this camera was real difficult <sighs> let me just say this up front i'm only vlogging right now because my cousin told me to vlog because i'm going through some real life shit and maybe i could help somebody maybe <coughs> oh my god I just choked because i was eating a sandwich and i feel like a piece just got stuck in my throat but anyways um my cousin told me to vlog because you know maybe this could possibly help somebody or i know there's plenty of people that could probably relate but since the last time y'all seen me, tragedy has struck my life. Um, but this is something that is promised for all of us to go through as individuals and all of us to experience in our life. And I'm really holding it together right now. Like, I'm really, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all already know, like, what i'm about to get into but if you don't follow me on instagram which you should because you have like i want to say daily updates but it's a bit more personal um well youtube is personal too but i don't know instagram you know you post on your story like it's something current you know what i'm saying that's like you, you'll see it the day it happened type but sorry y'all i gotta take deep breaths to like survive right now don't know when this vlog is gonna get posted but today's date is monday october 9th Friday, October 6th, my dad transitioned. <sighs> Try not to cry. And, oh my God. And he left this earth. It's been real hard. It's been real hard the last few days. Um... I'm really trying, I'm getting teary eyed, but I'm really trying to hold it back because I'm really not trying to like ball right now. And this has probably been one of the hardest times in my life. Like, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, this is the first time like I've had to deal with death and it was just so unexpected. I'll probably, because I know that there's plenty of people that, you know, have done like I don't want to say story time, but this story is crazy. Like when I tell y'all, like my life is full of surprises and my life is really crazy AF. Like I'm not even playing games with y'all. But, you know, when I could get to a point of, you know, going through the motions and going through the journey, because I just told y'all the dates, like my dad passed away like three days ago. So it's these first few days have been hard and I'm sure the next couple of months are going to be hard. But you know, because I'm his daughter, I basically have to be at the forefront of everything like decision making, funeral arrangements, like, y'all look, 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 look at what I'm currently putting together. Like, y'all see what this says? Playlist for daddy. I had just came back today from the funeral home, like literally just now. That's why I look like I went to run er errands because girl, just came back from the funeral home um, and they basically, you know, went over everything with us. We was in there for maybe like two hours, like discussing everything, me and, um, you know, his side of the family, not the whole family because it's plenty of family that I'm learning that I didn't even know I had that I'm meeting it's a lot like it's really a lot like it's it's crazy i'm putting together a playlist for my father's funeral 
it don't even feel real like it's probably not gonna hit me until like the funeral and then my dad he wanted to be cremated so we're gonna cremate him and they was asking us do y'all want to be present while we're you know the body <sighs> And I was like, yeah, I want to be there for all of that. I want to be there. They said that there's an option, like, well, not an option, but we do have the choice if, like, right when they send his, there's an option. Well, not an option because it's already going to be a thing, but it's optional if you want to do it, like, where you can, like, basically turn the knob and press the flames and everything like that. And I don't mean to seem, like, gory or anything like that, but, um... You know, I feel like it's something that I need to do to really know, like, okay, like, your dad is gone. You could have, like, different angles at the, is it called a crematory? I think, you know, if you want to have the side angle or if you want to have the direct angle, like, I don't know. I'll see how I feel, like, the day of the funeral and when everything happens, like, but me, you know, I want to just face the reality, like, this is the reality of life, like, And I already knew, like, we would all have to, like, leave this earth one day. But, like, the timing, how everything went down, like, it's just crazy. Like, it's just, it's just, but, you know, I'm not going to question God. You know, the road is already designed I just have to live for my dad's legacy at this point and I don't know if y'all have ever peeped from any of my videos I have mentioned that me and my dad really didn't have the best relationship but I know that he loved me you know he didn't have the best way of showing it but he did love me and I'll definitely like touch on like the details and everything down the line when I could talk without getting teary eyed but I don't know will I be able to ever be able to do that I don't know I mean I'm kind of doing it right now no I did get a little teary eyed but I'm really like holding it down right now but you know I'm just trying to keep myself in good spirits you know I'm not judging him for the life that he lives because that's up to the man upstairs God to judge him I know that my father was a God-fearing man, so he did make it to heaven. I'm not worried about that. And I know that one day, I'm going to see my daddy again. I'm not even worried about it. I have comfort in knowing that, you know, I have my dad on the other side. on the other side waiting for me so but it's just a lot like I've been to funerals before the last funeral I've been to was probably like years upon years upon years ago it's never I've like I said this is my first like major loss like I'm over here like damn like when pop smoke died like I was I thought I was effed up when takeoff died I thought I was effed up and yeah you'll feel a type of way for like a celebrity or someone that you messed with but it's nothing like having to deal with losing a parent like you telling me I can never speak to my dad again on earth and I'm not in no rush to transition either like I still got a lot of work to do on earth before God calls me home but there's so many things that I wish like <sighs> I could have said to him but, you know, God knows best. I'm keeping positive. I'm keeping myself good. I've been off from work. I have not gone to work. That's why I'm like, yo, this YouTube shit, this shit gonna pop up, pop off one day. So, bitch don't even gotta go to a job. Because, yeah. But, you know, I have to put my mental health before my job. But, you know, I'm probably... Thurs Thursday is when the madness started. Thursday, the madness started. He passed away Friday. Today's Monday. I did not go to work today not going to work tomorrow I'll see if I go to work Wednesday but by tomorrow we'll probably know like when we'll have a date for the funeral because you know we just don't want him sitting around for too long we want him to still look semi-presentable for the funeral but even then like I had to look at his freshly deceased body and he just he just did not look he didn't look great I knew I knew that that was my dad for sure, but he just. But let me show you my dad, okay? 
this is like my favorite picture right now that we have found so far i have another picture in my room somewhere that i cannot find and i'm like where's this picture because girl why i gotta help put together the mother in, um what's the pamphlet y'all know the little pamphlets y'all get at funerals yeah so this is my daddy y'all mm. rest in peace i love you i don't look like him though i look more like my mom <sighs> and here's a picture of me and him when i was a little pick me little pick me them oh my god look at my pops y'all like This whole mess is crazy. But um, I don't know if y'all know, I'm Caribbean. That's why y'all be hearing me talking sometimes, like, in little Caribbean accents. Because I is a Trini girl. I is a Trini girl. And I'm a Dominican girl, too. My father's from Dominica. My mom side of the family is from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, but my mom is a Yankee. But my dad, he's a yard man. He a yardy. My dad, he had an accent in everything. So that's how i could understand caribbean accents my whole father had an accent he's one of those old school like reggae type people so here, let me play like a sample of a song so this is what we what we're gonna have playing hold on that's all i'm gonna play for y'all right now i just gave y'all a little sample but i just wanted to do like a little update on the vlog um tomorrow which was this was already planned so i don't know god knew i needed my hair and my nails done for my father's funeral really don't know but i'm about to take these off tonight because i'm getting my nails done getting my hair done tomorrow i already have my hair washed and everything but i have it under twist under this wig i'm about to blow dry it because i'm getting braids so um that's what's going on in my life right now. I don't know how often I'm going to be posting just because this is a really hard time right now. I basically got to plan my father's funeral. Like, I've never planned a funeral, much less for my father. It's really tough, but I'm trying to stay strong because I know he wouldn't want me down here being sad over him. Like, he would want me to live my life and continue my life. He he wouldn't want me sitting around, sitting in my sorrows. And everybody is just telling me, like, how much my dad loved me. And I was, like, his little pride and joy or whatever. So he really wasn't the most perfect dad on the planet. But, you know, I'm glad that I still have moments that I could look back on with sharing with my dad. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing him again one day and because this this you y'all not telling me like we die and that's it i don't believe that i don't believe that at all that i i can never see or talk to my dad again i don't believe that i'm gonna have to wait a long time but i'm gonna see him again but um after this y'all it'll probably be a montage of me getting my hair and nails done and i don't know what the rest of my week is gonna be because you know as you can see we could have plans and plans can change and we could say we're going to do something but tomorrow but the reality is tomorrow is not promised so y'all just make sure y'all love on y'all people give y'all flowers to the people that you care about and if you ever have any issues with anyone you know just make sure like you get back to them within a reasonable time frame and make sure y'all are on good terms because you never know what tomorrow holds you don't know what next month holds you don't know what life holds i didn't know that within this time that you know i'm about to do some major things with my life that my dad was gonna leave this earth so that's all i have to say for now and i'll check back in with y'all at a later time guys look sammy upgraded i mean it was already a nice decor <laughs> but she upgraded the decor I do y'all see it. did you paint this yourself yeah i did wow it's the I'll artist up, for me. Little, um, i'm gonna make a little reel of it ah, you, yeah you know the people love real smoking on the low smoking on the low i still been plotting on the low scheming on the low the farthest thing from perfect like everyone i know i just been drinking on the low Mobbing on the low, walking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The
stay from perfect like everyone I know I just been drinking on the low hey everybody oh my god don't look over there it's a mess as y'all can see your girl hair is done we got the little what they call the knees the alicia keys braids okay the last time y'all see me on camera i was looking a little raggedy okay but not anymore not anymore for me nails done hair done everything here on my ny girls let me see your hands wave them at the bitches hey no need if you can girl you got it you and everything y'all probably like oh my god you're such you're in such a good mood oh my god if y'all see any dark spots on my face don't watch that my mood has been very up and down but I'm feeling good right now because, you know, I just got my hair done. Y'all, my scalp is tight. Because, y'all, it's officially a week since my dad passed away. And it's just like, what? But, um, you know, I'm keeping in good spirits for the most part. I'm about to go to the movies with my friend right now. We about to see that Exorcist movie. And I literally just told sis I don't want to go. <laughs> So if you see this, hello. I dead was just like, nah, I'm tired. I don't want to go. She's like, no, I'm coming to get you. And I'm like, all right. Like, I just had no choice but to go just now. So do y'all like my hair though? You see the fit? We fake matching like brown, brown, brown skin. Because I'm a brown skin girl skin just like pearls i'm gonna bring the camera with me because i don't know what we may or may not get into at this movie but um i don't know what the rest of this vlog is gonna have in store because but yeah we about to go see this movie we about to go see what it's hitting for hopefully it's scary i'll check back in with y'all when i check back in with y'all yo some <laughs> yo some people on this internet got a lot of nerve like Somebody, <laughs> yo, I'm going to do like a video one day addressing these hating ass, mad ass hoes, these $2 hoes, Jocelyn Hernandez voice, $2 dusty hoes. But like some girl just commented on one of my videos and she was like, I really want to like her story times, but like she's just all over the place. Story times? Plural. Oh, so you be watching multiple. Say less, Buki. Anyways, we about to walk into this movie. I just had to say that real quick because some of y'all, some people really be thinking like their opinion matters and it really doesn't because you still gonna be watching. Ooh, I smell trees. Ganja. Wow, it was actually people outside. I didn't think it would be people outside. Well, it is a Friday night, right? Question. I don't see the 10.30 on the screen. Um, it's like, yo, the girl going home. <sighs> yeah, she that's crucial girl. time that we just missed. Do you want to see a different movie? Like, Ain't the Nun out or something? You want to see what they have? Yeah. Wait, say that again. <laughs> and to the bitch coming at her baby hairs? Braid your pubes first. Yeah, oh. Yeah, because some bitch talking about, oh, my baby hair is just off the chart. Bitch, are you mad? You don't have no edges. And don't know how to lay them. Like, y'all be so mad at people who choose to lay their baby hairs. It really be the people that have no edges that complain about baby hairs. Anyways, y'all, we're going to a different movie theater because <laughs> we were late. <laughs> to the original movie that we were looking to see and that was the last time for the night but another movie theater has it starting at 11 30 because honestly I, we can't miss the beginning of this movie because these little bitches went into the woods and came out possessed we gotta see what happened to them in the okay let's go we gotta see what happened to them in the woods and all of that like so yeah um we going to the next movie theater bye oh my god Okay, uh, it's dark AF, but we made it to the theater and we got seats by the hairs of our chinny chin chin. Oh, thank you, you're so kind. You're so kind. I don't know if this is gonna be in the vlog, but um, we'll see. Because as we already know, this is a very chaotic vlog. 
very chaotic vlog. I think he was saying hi, excuse me, but sir, you was on the phone not paying attention, so I'm not turning around, bitch. You should have been doing your job and making sure you was paying attention to who the fuck was walking in the motherfucking theater, bitch. Nah, let me stop being so <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. It smell like funnel cake. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. <laughs> it's okay. Um, why is it sixteen dollars for a fucking dress? The movies. <laughs> oh wait, I have a discount for food. Oh yeah. The plug. <laughs> Yum. several days later hey guys it's literally like a week later i just woke up from a nap what's today's day october 20th you already know the deal i only vlog when i have stuff to do this week i went to work and i just woke up from a nap it's been raining all day um, but i did go to work out this morning so i'm glad i did that y'all my body is starting to look you know fit or whatever because my trainer be having me lifting weights and stuff don't mind the hat though like my hair is done should i just take i should just take it off i only had the hat on just now because my baby hairs <laughs> is not laid is not laid but you know what f it f it like it don't even matter like if i look a little crazy right now because my baby hairs because you know my hair is still very much giving fresh it's only like a week old tonight i'm going to a paint and sip with my mom so i'm gonna vlog that for you guys i just wanted to check in with y'all from the last time that i was on camera and i'm pretty sure i was at the movies what movie did i see again oh the exorcist right it was all right like it was just like every other scary exorcist type of movie like i've seen and after and mind you my ass my little old ass my granny tail self i was falling asleep during the movie like i was dead but like i was like i was up for most of the movie but of course when they get to the part where they exercising the girls i was dozing off but i mean i really didn't miss much and i'm just like why did i come and see this movie like because my friend shout out to you girl she only watched it because i wanted to watch it <laughs> It wasn't anything like that I haven't already seen before and I was just sitting there like I don't know like the new era of me is just like why am I watching like devil worshiping shit like this like don't don't come for me y'all but like I'm just like the scary movies and like those types of movies was like cool for me to watch like when I was a little kid but like I'm in like a different era of my life where I don't even want to be like playing with stuff like that. And that might sound contradictory because I fake want to go to a haunted house. So if I have someone to go with, like I'll go to the haunted house. But like as of right now, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Like, am I bugging? Like, can y'all see like where I'm coming from? Like about not wanting to watch stuff like that anymore like i'm just sitting here like what's the point when all these movies be the same and then it's like you know like i don't know if y'all are like or woke or like in tuned to stuff but like even certain music like is not really good for us to listen to i forgot like what it's called like what what the type of music is called but it's stuff that probably falls in like the category of like hip-hop trap music because it's like i would try to because you know you, you start talking about stuff like this people start thinking you crazy but it's true like certain type of music is like type of music like i don't know if youtube gonna flag me for saying that but like it's not really good like i don't know if y'all know but like lucifer's voice sounded like a choir so it's just like i don't want to indulge in anything that is possibly going to bring any type of negativity or like bad spirits like you know certain type of music you know some of these artists they like to play with god and stuff it's certain artists that 
you know, I used to listen to when I was younger that I don't listen to no more because it's just like they do too much ish. They be playing with God's name. They be playing with name. And I don't know because I don't want to indulge in that and, you know, make it seem like to God that I like that type of stuff. But, you know, I don't mind my watching like a little scary movie here and there. But even like that movie that I watch, it was very much playing with God. Like it was playing with God. But maybe I could like there's other scary movies that you could watch that don't have God or religion like pulled into it and I don't want to sound like a bible thumper because I'm not no bible thumper but like you know I grew up in a Christian household I do believe in God and in this vlog y'all already know like what's going on in my life currently so it's just like I don't even want to indulge in any type of like stuff like that let me know if y'all can relate. I soon get up and go to this paint and sip. I think I'm I'm waiting on my mom to come home so we could go to Walmart real quick. And then I'm probably just going to wear this little shirt. Hey guys, so I'm ready to go. You know, lay my baby hairs like I said I was going to do. You know, brown lip liner. And gloss, y'all already know. You already know what the lip combo going to give. I did some spot corrector, filled in my brows, put on some mascara, and this is the fit. This shirt, some jeans, stomach on flat. S, S, ass is assing. <laughs> ass is on fat. Yeah, I've been doing my squats. Bitch, you wasn't with me shooting at the gym. We're actually going to the paint and sip with her co-workers. I've done little stuff with them already before. So, hey, if any of y'all are watching. And they're all pretty cool. Very nice people. So, we're going to go to a restaurant first and eat. And then we're going to go to the sip and paint. Like, I'm not that hungry, but I'm a little hungry. I don't know where exactly we're going to go to eat, but we're going to go somewhere. So, yeah. I'm going to put my scarf back on my head because I had just took it away. Wait, where is it? I don't know if y'all ever seen this. If y'all ever seen this scarf before. But, yeah, I've been using this scarf for, like, <laughs> my whole 25 years. I'm not, This this scarf been through a lot of errors, y'all. But it be laying the baby here. So, I'm going to put that back on and I'm probably going to take it off, like, right before we get to our destination. Because, you know... You can never have too much layage of the baby hairs, so I'll see y'all in a sec. And as usual, if y'all see in a mess in the background, don't watch that. Y'all, if y'all up to date on my vlogs, y'all already know that I'm moving in T minus three weeks at this point. At in three weeks, I'm moving. By the time y'all see this vlog, either it's gonna be like a few days before I move, or I would have already moved by the time this vlog is updated updated uploaded i don't know but anyways i'll see y'all in a sec in wally world handled my business i needed to handle first the lighting in here got me looking cute mm -hmm. now i need to find some tape to you know tape up these moving boxes <laughs> i wonder if they got like no they probably got like some fall candles in here i want to be like the girls and get like full shopping but i'm right i'm not doing too much shopping though well, they got a lot of stuff up in here i'm gonna have a ball in texas they got christmas stuff already we ain't even get to halloween they got christmas stuff in it. okay command strips command strips so i'm smelling tape somewhere walmart got a lot of shit yo I didn't realize how much stuff Walmart got. Like, you could really find everything you need in Walmart. Like, why did I walk straight past the tape? It would have hit me if it was a snake. That's crazy. Which one do you think is the best? You need something heavy so it don't come apart. Oh, for a box. You don't need at least two. See? Moving tape. Oh. You don't want your box to come undone. They gonna be throwing that box. Moving tape, cause we're, cause we're moving. That's well, it. I'm moving. Anything else you think I might need to get while we're here? Right now, no. I mean, we have boxes, right? Mm -hmm. There's boxes. Where's your bubble wrap? Oh yeah. 
Or is bubble wrap on Amazon cheaper? You got tires up in here. Oh, you know the Walmarts in Texas got pum pums, right? Got what? Pum pums. Oh, yeah. Because it's a Second Amendment state. Just just know, y'all, I will be getting me a pum pum. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't play. Bro, why the fuck is tape $36? Adulting is crazy. Like, <laughs> why is tape almost forty dollars, bro? Like, I got my card today, y'all. Y'all remember from the last vlog? I ain't have my card. Not today. I ain't really do like fall shopping, <laughs> but you know, at least, at least, you know, all the girls is going to Target and Walmart in their fall vlog. So <laughs> I did that. Hey, y'all. When people stare at you in public when you're recording, just act like they don't exist. Like, just act like they don't exist. Because if you just act like they don't exist, like, they don't exist. Like, people be looking like, can I help you? I'm doing my job. Mind your business. That pays you. Because I'm getting paid. <laughs> Okay, so after that meal, I am seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant, just had a scare, gotta go to the hospital, <laughs> having contractions, like. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on our way to the sip and paint now. If my face looks oily, mind your business. You have cash? I can't be popping um, because someone had gave me. You look like you were 12 years old. I, I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 25. What? Yeah. Same thing, man? Yeah. 12 is bad <laughs> funny. You know, oh my gosh. Like, I'm over here like, wait a minute. This is a pain in <laughs> the <laughs> Is she allowed in here? <laughs> But does that mean like when I'm like 40, I'm gonna look like 20? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, nobody knows that. I'm sorry. Like, nobody knows how old I am because I look really young. I actually am. Yeah. 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 I was gonna talk so I guess they're not playing each years. other. Did I tell you what school you went to? Mm -hmm. And then he went to USC. So you was at homecoming last week. So. We're not taking a picture. You can take a picture. Several days later. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, yeah, it's a week later. The last time y'all see me, it was a Friday. Today is Friday, to be exact. Today's Friday, October 27th. Um, today is the day that I will be seeing my dad for the last time and sending him off i just want to foremost i hope i'm using that word correctly just thank everybody again that has sent their condolences my way it's been exactly three weeks since my dad you know left earth and we are sending him off today it's 9 a.m at 10 a.m we are having a final viewing for him and 11 a.m we are going to cremate him it's a lot <laughs> like it's a lot my nerves are bad like even getting ready i'm gonna put some lip gloss on but i just got my liner on right now because you if the girls that know y'all know like once you put the lip gloss on the liner start fading out so i'm gonna wait until like right before i leave the house to put the gloss on but my nerves are 
all over the place right now. Like, even getting ready, like, I was shaking a little bit. Like, I've I've really been dreading this day for the entire week because this is the day that, you know, is going to solidify that my dad is no longer here. So, <sighs> I already know it's going to be a sad day. It's going to be emotional. Like, I'm probably going to cry. Like, I don't have no lashes on, no mascara. I mean, I did put on some clear mascara because, you know, this is probably going to be, like, one of the toughest days of my life. But I know that this is something that has to be done for me to move forward with my life, for me to have closure. You know, my dad had told you know, some of his family members that he wanted to be cremated. He didn't have a will. He didn't have death benefits, life insurance from his job. That's why I had, you know, made the GoFundMe because long story, I'm going to get into it at a later time. But, you know, he had, I feel like my dad knew that his time was coming. So he was putting out the word to, you know, people on his side of the family and people that he was close to. He didn't tell me anything. Just know my dad left me in the dark with a lot that was going on with him. He had told people that he wanted to be cremated. So we are respecting his wishes. And, you know, we're it's going to be a whole like ceremony for us to be there to witness it. It's really not going to be a whole big thing because he had put that out as well. Like when he go, he don't want it to be a whole big thing. But, you know, if you've ever been like at the forefront of you know, having to deal with death and send somebody off, you know that either way, like, the thing, these things are expensive. It costs thousands of dollars just to even, like, cremate him um, and everything that we had to do before that to preserve his body. You know, he's been gone for three weeks. And if y'all are knowledgeable on, like, forensic science, y'all know that the body starts de decomposing as soon as you die like it starts that process so um we had to embalm him and every and all of that is just it's a lot but i'm getting to it at another time i may or may not get footage of like the events i'm obviously not gonna get footage of him but you know some of his family requested that you know i did like record like for people that could not come i'm gonna see what i could get um, I have one of my friends come in to support me, so I'm going to ask them, like, hey, could you, like, hold the camera? Because this is not something that I really want to just be in YouTuber mode. Like, I kind of just want to, like, live in the moment. But, you know, I will record what I can and get through this. So, just wanted to check in with y'all, tell y'all what's going on. Mind you, this is all, like, two weeks before I have to move to Texas, like, putting it out. Because by the time I post this... I would have already been in Texas at this point or it would be like only a few days before I'm in Texas before before this, you know, video actually gets uploaded. So, yeah, I'm really moving to Texas. I'm really doing this. It's two weeks out. My life over the last few weeks have been crazy. I've had to cut off people, you know, people that I thought would show up for me have not. And the people that I never would have thought sh would show up for me have. So... That's where I'm at with it right now, and um, I'll check back in, in with y'all later. So, oh, just wanted to show y'all my fit real quick. Um, this cute little dress, because you know, for days like this, you're supposed to wear black. So, I have found um, my bed is a mess. Don't watch that. But I had found this dress in rainbow and i will be wearing some heels but i do have my little sandals because you know i'm not really a heels girl but i do want to try to give first lady vibes because i am the first lady so recipes to my daddy this is how the baby hairs is looking mm. per glosses on per all right so now i'm about to head out now and we will see how everything goes
the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm to Brother Lennox Henry. It's been some time since he's transitioned. Now he's in peace. The Bible says, I'm the resurrection of the life, saith the Lord. He who believes in me, though he is dead, yet shall he live. Whoever believeth in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer lived at last. He will stand upon this earth. And after my skin has thus been destroyed from my flesh, I shall see God. Whom shall I see for myself? My eyes shall behold but not another. And my heart faints within me. For we brought nothing into this world. So there is nothing we can take out. The Lord gave it. And the Lord now has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Send you the um the invoice later. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're gonna say. Come close. How much close you want? Lena. I don't think they're gonna fly. They deflated. They deflated. So um I don't know if they gonna fly, but we gonna see. I don't think they are. Uh, let's see. Let me just copy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. I want to drop. All right. Drop. Uh, we try. <laughs> the balloons deflated from last night. We tried to let them off, but they didn't go off. Rest in peace to my dad. I'm going to see him again one day. Many days from now. Not anytime soon, but I'm going to see my dad again. She trying to, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Before. Yeah. We out. Hey guys. 
So it is exactly a week later. Once again, I check in with y'all like once a week, clearly. And today's date is Friday, November 7th. 7th whoa 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 whoa! we're not that far in time friday november 3rd i had just got back home from the funeral home i went and picked up my dad's ashes i got you know the death certificates for him now this process i mean it's not done because i am still grieving but i mean i have been you know since we did the funeral a bit more positive just because it's like okay like the chapter with my dad is fully closed now just because you know we sent him off and and now you know I'm preparing for my new chapter in life to move to Houston I'm very you know eager to see like what God has for me in this new chapter of my life he has in the last month at this point because my dad died October 6th and it's coming up on a month since he left earth. God has closed doors, closed chapters with certain people in my life, not just my dad, but with other people as well. And he is about to open me up for a brand new chapter. Through all of this, you know, I have maintained my faith in God. You know, it's gotten stronger if anything because this whole month I've been seeing like how powerful and present God is in my life and I'll probably go into more detail with that you know in a separate video down the line but this is going to be the end of today's vlog just wanted to close it out and let y'all know like what was going on I don't know how I'm gonna feel like when I'm out there in Texas because it's just like I'm gonna be across the country away from my mom you know I'm I'm used to waking up with to my mom every day and going to sleep saying goodnight to my mom like physically and she being literally within arm's reach so this is going to be a journey I don't know how I'm going to feel when I'm out there because I'm going to be out there you know I'm not going to be alone but like 90 percent is going to be me alone physically but you know i'm just gonna keep my faith in god and stay strong if you made it to the end of this vlog thank you for watching thank you again for everyone that actually showed up for me in this part of my life and was present and for the love and prayers and i know who really messed with me out of this situation you know i have no bad blood towards anybody <clears throat> but you know I know who mess with me and I know who don't. So stay tuned for my moving vlog, y'all, because I'm literally going to start up the moving vlog right now after I close this in the same fit and everything because I'm about to um pack some boxes. I'm going to aim to pack like two boxes today. I got like four packs right now. I'm going to aim to pack two because it's t like the countdown to this move is countdowning. Like... It's T minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days <sighs> until I move to Texas. Like, this don't even feel real. Like, am I really doing this? Like, I guess I am. But anyways, thanks for watching y'all. Make sure y'all give this video a big like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Later.